basic story structure rules for a short story. Short stories are just like novels that like any other kind of story, except they're short, right? <laughs> that means you have to be faster when you write. You can't write slow starts and slow ends. Your story still has to have a cool character. It still has to have a problem. It has to have a problem that gets worse and worse and the tension gets higher and higher and then it can have a resolution. But those things, those phases are much shorter. So if you read a novel, the resolution might even be two chapters long. That you know, the tying up and seeing our characters happy ever after. That could be really long, thousands of words long in a novel. In a short story, it might just be one sentence. The start of a novel, you sometimes have a whole chapter in one world and then a whole chapter in the new world. But in a short story, you should jump right into the moment that your character's life changes, right at the very start of something amazing that is changing your character's life. And then follow your character, follow that thought or idea up to a climax and a very quick resolution. Another good question is, what do you do when you've got a new idea and you're halfway through your old idea and you have a new idea and it's even better than the idea you're working on at the moment, like it's a great new idea. Do you stop the project you're working on and start the new idea? My answer, what works for me is no. So I'll write that idea down, I'll maybe spend a page or half a page quickly writing down the new idea so that it's captured and I keep it and I can work on it next time. And then I go back to the job of finishing my first idea, of making sure I finish something, hand it into competitions, give it to my editor, finish it, and then go back to the new idea and put everything you've learned from your first idea into that new idea and make it even better. <laughs> 